a drive to go out prospecting. This time I'm going to a new one, my friend mate in front. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to find something good. That'd be nice. Always nice when you find gold in a new spot. Um, fingers crossed. It's lovely weather. About three hours to go. And I'll stop off somewhere maybe Gimpy. Just for a refuel. Make sure we've got enough to go and have fun out. Further where we're going. Shower. Uh, nice area. Matty down there. Say hi, Matty. <laughs> uh, I think this will be our camp. Sounds like there's a bit of a main road down there. Oh, yeah. Ah, Sorry. Right. Hardly any traffic around here. Um. Blue sky, blue car. All right, state the bloody obvious. Um, so the mines are apparently down that way. Um, the guy was warning us that um, 
there's been some fence jumpers before. Um, he said, obviously don't go over the fence. There's a guy with a gun. Just chase him off, you can expect it. Um, you being out here, if I had a gun, I'd probably wave it about at people on my property. Uh, yeah, nice flat land. Looks pretty good. Maybe give it a little bit and then set up the, the tent. Say, hey, mate. Yep. Get the gazebo out and my swag. Um, horse down there. Yeah, looks quite nice. It's pretty warm. Um, yeah, we'll just have a bit of a refreshment and then we'll go and have a look what we can see. Apparently, yeah, it's just down that track there. That RV is. Yep, have a look, see what happens. Here we are. Pretty big. Looks good. Right colour material. Plenty of flies buzzing around me as well. Brilliant. I'm at one with them. A few trenches. Looks like a bit of a shaft here. Yeah, hello. Yeah, well, that goes right back. Just mind your step, mate. Yeah, see the cut they've made there? Yeah, they've definitely gone in quite deep. Right. I'll give it a go. Turn my phone off because it's annoying the SDC. First deep target. That's, um, that's quite crazy. That's a very deep hole. There's only a little bit of noise when I started to uh, walk past. He gave off a tiny signal. Now, it's turned into a big signal. But there was a large post that we pulled out from there. Maybe it could be a screw, a bolt. Bit of noise coming from that lot. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it, mate. So. out a bit.
right, get it in the scoop bud. Yeah, there you go. First time. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Something sounds heavy in it. Nah. Oh. Are you kidding me? Is it that? Yeah, it is that. What is that? Quartz. Excuse me for one second. Let's have a good, good look. It's heavy. It's bloody heavy. off for this one. That's really weird. I can't see anything on it. the old trick, wash it in the mouth. Tastes all right. Mm. <laughs> mm. Excuse me, that tastes metallic. Almost tastes like lead. Yes, lead. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, look at that. Lead. Did look like quartz, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of. It looks embedded in rock. There we go. Open up a bit more. Still taste it. Yeah, big bit of lead. God damn it. Oh well. So last day at the mine, 
um, over at Mount Perry, and as you can see, there's some pretty deep shafts about. Um, you wouldn't want to fall down it, but I do find I'll flick the camera around. Just excuse the fingernails again. Shiny pyrite. So what I seem to find around here. Um, not worth anything. Yeet. Oh well. They've done a hell of a lot of work. Uh, apparently it's all done by hand as well. Uh, it goes all the way in that direction. That's where the copper starts. And that's where the gold apparently starts as well. I say apparently because, yeah, I've heard people finding enough for um, ounces and ounces. But, yeah, not for the SDC. Not that I could tell anyway. And somebody else was up here recently as well, or yesterday. And they found nothing. Oh, well, back to the car. Go back to the camp, enjoy the fire. Well, here we are. Back on the way to Populus Maximus. The traffic was absolutely awful on the way past the Sunshine Coast back to Brisbane. So much road work's going on. Now that's the price you pay for trying new spots and seeing what you can get. I actually picked up some big bits of quartz. Uh, they look really good, heavily mineralized. They've got some pyrite in. And as soon as I get back I'll do a quick video of that. Let you all have a look. A whole bit more road works. Lovely. So this is the stuff that I picked up from the mine and took home. As things do when they're shiny they always catch your eye. As you can see, you can't really tell with the camera, but well, this is just super shiny. What do you think, Evie? Just wondering if there's any gold locked up in it. And this is not extremely heavily heavy. Just full of pyrite. Bit of quartz full of pyrite. And then this bit of quartz. It's a seam. Um, so top and bottom end, whichever way it was. See the host rock on both sides. And then. Huge mineralized stain and the quartz with pyrite running through it. So that's what me and Matty found whilst we're up there. We smashed a few bits up and found absolutely nothing but. 
Um, I've been told that there were some guys up there with gold monsters that are cracking open bits like this and just um, revealing the bits that they, they cracked open, bits of gold. Maybe it's worth it. Don't know.